to drink, Rita. Aren't you on duty tomorrow? Who cares? Not any good men, that's for sure. Oh, all I do is work on tanks. I don't even have time for dating. All my friends are married and having kids and being happy. But me, I'm just dodging bullets and pickup lines. Chief Engineer Dunois just yells at me all day, and the only other guys who'll even look at me are weirdos. Guess what my parents said in the last letter I got? When are we getting grandchildren? Thanks, Mom! Like I want to stay single? Ugh, I'm gonna die alone. Listen, you need to step back and take a good look around you. You have every advantage in the world. You're young, you're beautiful, and you're talented. If a boy can't see that, he doesn't deserve you. Somehow, the weight of those words feels even heavier coming from you. Oh, and what exactly do you mean by that? You've been around the block, right? Got hitched and everything. Marriage, huh? Best part of mine was the divorce. That's not true. You got a loving daughter out of it. And you must have been in love at some point. All right, that's enough for tonight. Now get back to your own quarters. Some of us actually want to go to sleep. Millennia, would you mind fetching Rita some water? Oh, not at all. Aw, you're so nice and gentle and... Oh, Millie, will you marry me? What? Uh, sorry, I'm taken. Stop pestering her, Rita. And don't listen to her, Millennia. She doesn't mean anything by it. Oh, sorry. She's just scared about her future. We all are. This is just her way of venting all that stress. I understand. Going into combat frightens me too. Oh, she's already passed out. I'll take her to her quarters. Sorry to ask this of you. I know you've got enough on your own plate. Oh, don't worry about me. Really. Oh, my head. I think I'm gonna puke. I did warn you not to drink so much. Why don't you take it easy today? I'll let the others know you're out of commission. I'm fine, I'm fine. If Andre heard I played hooky over a hangover, he'd kill me for sure. Maybe you do need a near-death experience to learn your lesson. No, that's just cold, Brit. Good morning. I got some medicine from the sick bay. I had a feeling you'd be under the weather. Here, drink up. It'll help. Aw, how sweet. You're my goddess, you know that? Goddess? <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? Uh, 
Of course not. You're caring, considerate, and compassionate. I should really take a page out of your book. The guy who gets to marry you is the luckiest man alive. Oh. oh, right. Before I blacked out, I remember you saying you're taken. Care to share some dating tips? Well, I... Rita, get over here now! Huh? Where are we going, Brit? <sighs> What's the deal? I was just trying to learn her secret. Guess no one told you Millennia's husband is M.I.A. Missing in action? Her husband is a Federation soldier, but she hasn't heard from him since he was first deployed. So she enlisted herself, hoping it'd help her find him. Oh, that explains it. Now I feel like garbage for even asking. I'm sure she knows you didn't mean any harm. But talking about her husband is off limits from now on. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. Where are you, darling? Sir, are you sure? Is it... I'm sorry, but yes. I got the notice from HQ this morning. They confirmed it from his personal effects. He, uh... He had a photo of you on him. No! I don't believe it! I can't! That's not even... It's not possible! Millennia, wait! why I'm holding out for Mr. Wonderful. Someone with good looks, a great personality, and lots of money. Oh, and a high social status wouldn't hurt either. <laughs> Honey, you'll be an old maid before you find a man like that. How long are you gonna live in La La Land? If you wait for Mr. Wonderful, Mr. Wright will pass you by. And how about you, Brit? What kind of guy makes you happy? Eh, I'm done with men. My dear sweet Becky is my happiness. Well, good for you! But you already got married. Some of us are still trying to catch up. Ah! Whoa! Millie! I'm... I, I'm sorry! Where's the fire? Wait, you look like you've seen a ghost. Are... are you okay? Sorry, I just... I can't think straight right now. Please, don't worry about me. Goodbye! Huh? Hey, wait! There she goes. I wonder what's eating her. If there's one thing I've learned from motherhood, it's that don't worry means you should definitely worry. <sighs> Is it her husband? I've got a bad feeling about this. I'd go after her, but we've been ordered to stand by until our next mission. What do you think, Brit? We go AWOL, we'll be in as much trouble as her. We do have our orders, and rules are rules. But then again... Come on, let's go after her. They can lecture us all they want after we bring her back safely. Right behind you, Brit. Situation. You better 
keep up. Here I go. I've got this. Come on, Brit. Let's go save Millie. Why, sweetie? Why'd you leave me all alone? Without you? Maybe I'm better off dead. Who's there? Imperials! What are they doing all the way out here? Nice job predicting our attack route. But you're all alone. Didn't your CO teach you to use the buddy system? Damn fool. Are you really gonna fight us on your own? You'll be dead before you hit the ground. Maybe this was meant to be. I'll be with you soon, darling. You stay the hell away from her, you hear? What the? The enemy reinforcements! This way, Millie! Hurry! Don't let them escape! After them! What are you two doing here? Saving our girlfriend, duh! Men come and go, but ladies stick together, right? But I... Save it for later, honey. First, we gotta clean up this mess. If your husband were here, he'd tell you to live, wouldn't he? <gasps> okay, I got a hold of Claude. Help is on the way. We just need to stay alive until then. By the way, he said we're gonna have a nice long chat after this is all over. Lucky us, but I'll take a scolding over a court-martial. Small price to pay for a girlfriend's life, anyway. We need to get back to base. Can you move? <gasps> yes.
Women hear me roar. Out of this alive. <sighs> Safe and sound. Now that's what I call a rescue mission. Millennia, I can't imagine what you're going through, but you had us worried sick. I know. I realize now what I put you through. You two risked your lives for me. I can't let that be for nothing now, can I? I've decided. I'm going to live, and I'm going to fight. I'll end this war, so no one else has to lose a loved one. That's what my husband would have wanted. Well, good. I'm glad you're starting to feel better. It'll hurt for a long time, but the pain will pass. Thanks, Brittany. And thank you, Rita. I thought I had nothing left to live for. But I have you. I'm so thankful we have each other to lean on. Now, oh, hush, now you're just being dramatic. You've got a point, though. Only reason we're alive is because you were there to return the favor. Oh, I wish I could love someone as powerfully as you do, Millie. You've got so much passion in your heart. And if there's one thing I've learned from you, it's that the power of love can beat anything! <laughs> the power of love, huh? The hard part is recognizing when a man's worth that love. But I guess that's not impossible. Screw Mr. Wonderful! I'm gonna look for Mr. Right! And this time, I mean it! Think of it this way. Millie had the best husband, and Brit had the worst. I just gotta land somewhere in the middle. Still so young. How would I give her half that optimism? Don't give me that, you cougar. You'll catch a man too. We're on the prowl together now. No, please. My dating days are long since over. Age is just a number. You're never too old to find love. Besides, I bet Becky would love having a real dad. And maybe a little brother or sister. That's it, young lady. You're grounded. <laughs> it feels so good to have a family again. Just being loved makes all the difference. With ladies like you in my life, everything will be okay.